this overdue here, write stuff in antiques, and today I'm talking about cooking, as if you didn't know. If you're doing anything, always do it 100%. Now, if you want to cook or you have to write stuff in antiques, cooking may be the last thing you think about. But everybody here, there's six vendors, and we've all got things that will help you in cooking. Learning to cook. I've got lots of cookbooks here. You want to know how to make a good meal when your mother-in-law or your boss comes to foods? Well, these books will help you. You want to sift some flour if you're making a cake? You've got uh, the recipe here. You know, the sifter. This is an antique, but it sifts flour. You pour your flour in the sifter. Now, you don't really need that nowadays, but it's a collector's item. Whenever you're baking, you want to present something like macaroni and cheese, scallop potatoes. You want it to be pretty. Cindy has this beautiful handler that will help you in your presentation because presentation is everything. Now, if you're like me, you always hate to get to the bottom of that mayonnaise jar. I know I took me many years to figure this one out, but I finally did. A scraper will get in that jar and get every last drop. You bake in a cake, pancake mix, scraper. And pans for baking and juice. You want to make orange juice. You want to make lemonade, the juicer. Put your gluten here and squeeze. If all else fails and you just don't want to do anything but open a can of chili, or you got a can opener for you. We got it all here at Bright Stuff Antique, so I hope you'll come up and see us. Okay, thanks.